The FDA is allowing the so-called abortion pill to be delivered by mail now. It lifts a restriction that required providers to dispense the drug in person to women. The move comes as the Supreme Court appears poised to deliver a blow to federal abortion rights and leave regulations up to the states. So what does this mean? Let's bring in ABC's senior national policy reporter, Ann Flaherty, who's joining us live for more. So, Ann, uh, the Biden administration deciding to go ahead and say this is now going to be uh, able to be obtained by women through the mail. How big a deal is that? Well, I think it's huge. I think it opens up a whole new frontier in the abortion debate. So this is the drug, Terry, uh, mifepristone, that it blocks the hormones that a woman needs to support a pregnancy. It's taken within 10 weeks. And up until recently, you could go into, you had to go into a hospital or a clinic and physically pick up that pill. Um, now, in 19 states, they do require you by state law that a physician has to be present when you take this drug. Um, the FDA decision does nothing to override those state laws. And those are women mostly in the South, so they will not have access to this. Mm -hmm. But for the rest of the country, uh, women are going to be able to go into um, a pharmacy, do a telehealth appointment, and get it mailed to them. It, it makes it significantly easier for women, particularly in rural areas of this country, uh, or women who simply don't have the time or the resources to get to a clinic, uh, they can get this through the mail now. And, and the argument of abortion rights advocates is this, uh, this uh, protects that constitutional right still that women have to choose to have an abortion. Opponents say that there are safety issues here. That's why those states, as you point out, require women take the pill in front of a doctor. Uh, what are the risks here? Um, well, you know, every medication has risks. This has been on the market for 20 years now. The FDA, FDA says this is extraordinarily safe and it's very, very effective. Um, but certainly there are risks. For example, if you have an ectopic pregnancy, if you have certain medical conditions, uh, they, they still want you to be screened by a certified health provider before you get access to this drug. Um, so this is certainly not something that is being deregulated entirely. They haven't moved, removed all the restrictions on this. Um, it, it's just going to be easier to get it, to take it um, in a private way. And, and it, it, we know that the Supreme Court is looking at the whole issue of woman's right to choose abortion under Roe versus Wade and Planned Parenthood versus Casey. And listening to those arguments, it does not look good for the future of Roe versus Wade and the right to choose. You know, what potential impact on this decision by the FDA to provide uh, this so-called abortion pill to women through the mail, what could uh, a Supreme Court decision have uh, on that? Uh, well, certainly it would allow these states to criminalize these pills because these pills would uh, abort an early pregnancy. Um, and, and this is why I say it's a new frontier, because I think that w with this decision by the FDA, the FDA is not, um, you know, th they're not going to pass policy or laws. They're going to say what is safe and what can be done. So now the move, it really goes into these states. And I think you're going to start to see uh, certain states try to pass laws or, or try to make it easier or tougher for women to get access to this pill. Well, you know, one of the questions that we have is in a place like Texas, They've already said that this pill cannot be administered to any woman in Texas uh, after seven weeks. So, but can a woman go on, do a telehealth appointment with a doctor in California, for example, and give them a California address and have it delivered there? It becomes very, very difficult to try to police this and enforce this. Um, there's even an, a, a charity that's out of, um, or an organization that's out of Europe that says that they will send these pills to women. Now, the FDA is very clear they don't want women going online to buy medication. They don't think it's safe. Um, but I think that's, that's where we're headed, is some women will look to circumvent these state laws if they try to criminalize these pills. And we could uh, end up with less safe procedures and possibilities for women who are seeking to choose to have an abortion. And Flaherty, thanks very much for that. Thanks, Terry. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.